going on guys good morning i did not get a chance to do my review for empire yesterday because i was late but guys i am going to do the review right now good morning starting off yesterday when i guess cookie had a you know reminder of when she was getting ready to go to jail or something like that so she was kissing and hugging her you know, Lucius and her kids for the last time before she was getting ready to go be gone for 17 years. So, guys, uh, I guess she just had a memory of what had happened. And, uh, guys, I, I, let me just say this. episode was just epic, epically amazing. Get into this, guys. Wow, now this moment was just amazing. I love it. We get into after the little sex exploration between Mr. Lucius and Miss Cookie Lion, guys. They got into an old flame. We know this. He's talking about she's going to produce the Lucius Legacy, the Lucius Lion Legacy, or something like that. This is supposed to be a family album but guys everything is is gonna come into place when we get into close to the end of the episode guys but it was in the beginning lucius is loving this idea but baby when we get to close to the end of the episode all that is gonna change oh my god i i, I can't wait to get to the end of it but guys said if you want cookies milky dish the bitch <laughs> yes Oh hell no! Don't do it. Don't ditch her. Oh hell no! Then he made promises, empty promises, empty promises. I would ditch her. Uh, Mr. Hakeem in the church, trying to do his little prayer. You know, I didn't think he was the humble type to, you know, confess his sins. Then uh, Jamal come in and they both Jesus talking about um, Lucius and when they if they gonna do the family song or not. So guys, I don't know. We gonna say. So when they was in the studio and guys they all were singing the chorus together this, this was just the best moment down up down up down up down up I'm trying to come sing a chorus. Come join in. Do you mind? Heck no, I don't. Oh. Uh, oh, hell no. <laughs> That's amazing. Just seeing this. But then little Mr. Andre was getting in his feelings because he was not a part of the song because the bitch don't get no talent. But anyway, it's a picture for Anika. The jealous bitch. And she's done found out. Okay. She's gonna find out that Lucius, and we know this, we, she found out, but she confronts Lucius about sleeping with Cookie. Guys, okay, Anika, you're the odd one in the game. Next. Okay, now see, he couldn't help it. That's his baby's mother. You never forget your first, okay? You never forget your baby's mother, okay? So it was bound to happen that they were going to sleep together, okay? Was is still trying to be CEO and still trying to run the company. Y'all, he's not qualified. He's not eligible to run this company. So he's trying to get Vernon to do all his dirty work. Guys, I don't bother this at all. I don't bother. It's Rhonda, the, 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 she got this fake mask on and she just look a hot ass mess. And then you and Andre, they having this little breakfast talking about the company and he's just acting all... Come and, and, and y'all, I, I just can't. I can't deal with Andre. He too much studio. I guess what's going on is. Baby, you gotta pull back. Yo, like who is she to tell me what's wrong in my music? This is not your. Then they arguing that Hakeem and Cookie is always arguing. Oh, you're right, right, right. Eighty six a camera, man. This is great stuff. Oh my God. Yes, sir. What is wrong with y'all? 
He started it. Nah, -uh, she started it with all them dumb notes. That's her job. She's the producer. See, and then this, this is I just was supposed to think asses could coexist and talk. But then they finally had a little moment where they seemed like they was getting along together. And guys, I was happy. No, no, y'all don't get it. I'm about to be dead soon. And y'all gonna have to work together after I'm gone. And y'all can't work together if y'all ain't talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Now, Hakeem, tell your mama why you always so damn mad at her. Okay, so he was brutally honest. Hakeem was brutally honest. Okay, he told her, you aren't in my life. You act like I didn't amount to nothing. You left me high and dry for 17 years. And she tried to tell him, well, baby, I still love you. But you're going to have to get over being mad at me. I'm trying to make it right. Okay. Push comes to shove. They start getting along at least a little bit in this episode. So, guys, I was happy Mom for that. seemed like he had a little thing for the cameraman. Okay. That might eventually be for that part. Might be his new boo. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> they started getting to know each other. I guess they was doing like a little documentary. Uh, Jamal was the first to speak. And he at least said some encouraging things about his dad. But guys, that, that, ain't, the, that, ain't, that, that ain't the cold so part. Lucius and Cookie again. They had another thing going on in the studio. I guess they had another little sex exploration date. In the studio, they got into old times. They started talking ish back and forth, and they let push comes up. They have sex on the damn studio board. Perhaps I so then we get into Andre and Rhonda. Y'all, I just can't deal. They had this little dinner party or whatnot. I don't recall who the people that they meeting at the dinner party, but then they had this little dinner meeting or whatnot. I don't know if they talking about. Guys, I really didn't pay attention to what they was talking about. I was just not so not interested in Andre and Rhonda, but they was at this little dinner party. That's all I know. And Miss Camille, or Camilla, or whatever the hell her name is. Naomi Campbell. Hakeem and Naomi Campbell had this little listening party for the Up Down, Up Down, Up Down song, uh, 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 You're So Beautiful. And uh, I can't, uh, uh, um, Camille was like, well, why don't you take me out in front of all of the people? I want people to know that I'm with you and blah, 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 blah. He like, yeah, baby, I want to show everybody I'm with you at the white party. Guys, the white party was the best thing. I can't wait to get to that. But anyway, get into the same where Rhonda gets drunk. Huh. <laughs> Baby, at the dinner party. Okay, these people are just so damn dysfunctional. I can't last stand Mother and son <laughs> bond between Hakeem and Cookie. It was just beautiful. So then he asked her, can I be the last uh, act of the song? Can I, you know, be the last one instead of Jamal? And, you know, what? she tried to make it amends. You know, she tried to see if she could talk to uh, Lucius and uh, uh, Jamal about... Being the last one on the song, and you know, it would have been, it would have been his old, it would have been Cookie's old to him. And guys, I, I agree because you know, it probably would bring them together if he would be the last act, a part of the song that they do at the white party. But it went, in, it went a whole nother different way. Then we get into <laughs> Jamal and his little baby. Okay, they is just bonding. So I guess son, I guess you could say son and daughter bonding. And guys, he's just singing in the jungle, the mighty jungle, and uh, uh from Lion King, guys. And I just, you know, I love this moment because that my, that boy can sing his ass off, and she's just loving it. Uh, and guys, I just thought that that was like the cutest moment of the episode yesterday when he was uh, uh singing to his daughter. That was just, it was a serenade. It was just beautiful. I love it. Oh, hell no. no. Then you see how Lucius gave him serious shade. Until Mr. Lyon returned to his post. He gave him serious shade. Now we will vote by each individual board. Okay, now see, this was the part. He was like, you will never be the head of this company. You will never, off record, you will never be the head of this company. He was like, Dad, why? Because you're not qualified. You are so sneaky. You don't want to break this hole and blah, blah, blah. Y'all, it just gets serious and personal. Real personal between Aunt Andre and Lucius, guys. I did not know he held a, 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 a 
this much of a beef with his own son, guys. I just, I just can't deal with that. I just thought that that was a little harmful. But could I? But could you really blame Andre though? He was the main one trying to break everybody up. He was the main one trying to get everybody in arguments. He was just the, 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 the biggest finesse out of everybody in that damn uh uh company. And he, uh, he's not qualified because the bitch ain't got no talent. Okay. Mm, mm, that was just shady and cold hearted. But could you blame him? The party was epic. The white party was epic. But I don't know what the hell it was it with between Jamal and Lucius. Y'all, they looked like they was priests getting ready to do a sermon. Okay, they looked like it was hallelujah. Y'all, the white party was heaven. Everybody was wearing white. It was just cold. I mean, the scenery was just cold. I just love it. And, um... Jamal having side comments with Hakeem. I, I, I mean, Jamal having side comments with Cookie. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, saying that he didn't want to be a part of the song because blah, 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 blah. I, I don't got time to be dealing with my dad and his personal issues and blah, 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 blah. Hakeem wanted all the attention and he lied and blah, blah, blah. Y'all, it was just getting crazy. But then Cookie kept doing all she could to be a part, uh, to, to get Jamal to be a part of the song and Hakeem. She wanted everybody a part of the song, but everybody wasn't really coexisting the right way that they should have, which was a little sad. She sings. Special announcement to me. Lucius and Anika together, it pissed her the hell off because he made her a promise that he would get over Anika and go back with her. Look, I wanted to tell you. Tell me what? It's not going to happen. Oh, hell no. I can't deal. Backstabbing bass. She, she, she confronts Anika. I want to congratulate you. Oh, this is where you get to the best shit. Oh, hell no. This is my best part of the episode tonight. Uh, 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 I just love this. I just love this. Oh hell no! <laughs> I love this guy. This was shady as hell. Oh, Cookie, if you came here to tell me about the little reunion that you and Lucius had, I was just supposed to fight already. I already know. Oh. But did he tell you about the big reunion we had last night in the studio on the soundboard? Oh hell no! Oh, no. <laughs> Of course not. It must have been after he promised he would never do it again. <laughs> Girl, man. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you look pretty. Oh, hell no. <laughs> This Anika had the most sour ass look on her face, y'all. I can't child like can't. When she threw shade at Camilla, it was on. Can you even play trombone? Oh, when Cookie seen Camille and Hakeem together, she was like, I would never let my son date a woman twice his age. And I would never uh, be, be seen dancing, uh, 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 being seen dating somebody half my age and blah, 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 blah. And, and, and my little son is going to be a star and blah. You are too old for him. Now, let she was she lying though? Because Camille is just twice this man's age, but yet he don't care. But but y'all, she was uh, Cookie was giving her the business. Miss Camille couldn't say a damn she thing. Mess between Vernon and um, Andre, guys. So Lucius found out that they was plotting behind his back to make him be CEO. And y'all, we know this is true. They was trying to do everything they could to make Andre be part of CEO. Vernon had the upper hand, thought that he had the best plans for this man to become CEO when he is not capable. Y'all, the truth has to eventually come to the light. Okay. She said, oh, hell no. She said that y'all go bitches. Hey, y'all go bitches going up my heart. It's her fault. Oh, hell no, my head. Mom, I am not dropping the song. Can I just use your verse? No. It's not a family song unless the family sings on it, Jamal. <laughs> She's right, Mom. Uh oh. It's not family unless you're on it. Oh, now you want to talk about family. Cookie, you put me in. <laughs> what do you want to do, man? What do you want to do? Now this is the part right here that it sounded like these people was getting so alone with each other. The little inspirational uh, information he was giving to his son Jamal was just giving me life up to the heavens and the earth above. Okay, he was saying that music is forever, which it is. 
He was saying that you are family. I love you and blah, 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 blah. Everything's a single. All peaches and cream and uh, bananas and fucking peaches. Everything was just going all perfectly well until Jamal did the song, guys. But anyway, the speech was just everything. Do it for me, don't do it for your mama, don't do it for your brothers, you do it for the sake of the music. See, you gotta remember, that's why God put us on this planet. Okay. Regardless of how we fight or right. feel about each other or try to hurt each other. Right. Music, man. Right. Music, that's forever. Okay. They'll dance to it forever. They'll okay. sing to it forever. Hell yeah. They'll be inspired by it. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Put the bad blood behind us. See? It's a big stepping stone. Oh my God, it almost worked. It almost worked. Jamal proceeds to do his verse of the song, and Lucius was so happy. But guys, this is this is this is where we get to the good stuff. Oh hell no! But as soon as Jamal was like like 15, a good 20 minutes into the song, Jamal came out the closet. So after Jamal came out the closet, <laughs> Lucius smile turned into a damn frown. Like that. He was disgraced. And guys, it, it made me feel so sad. Oh hell no! Nah, you got yourself a new man. Kanye's workout plan. I call that baby fat. Baby fat. This show look good to me. I think. Uh 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 uh. Hell no! I can't deal. Go up down up down up down up down up down up down. Oh hell no! <laughs> Oh, his smile turned to a frown. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! He was disgraced. Lucius appeared so angry. He didn't want to talk to nobody. He really gave the business in between Andre and Lola. It's their relationship is through, as far as I'm concerned. Guys, oh my God! Lucius was disgraced. Oh my God. Have you heard from your brother? Uh. No. It's getting well by coverage now. I'm gonna deal with this and you know it. And it just got so personal between Andre and Lucius. You know why my family hates me? Oh my God. I know why. But Andre just don't love himself, y'all. I'm sorry. He just got a low self esteem about himself. Do he have any talent? I'm just saying. Because I studied in school. And got good grades and went to college. Mm. You hate me because I want to be accepted. And they will never accept, accept your you. damn. They will accept your money, Drake. But, but they, they will, will never, never accept, accept your black ass. ass. Oh hell! No. How many white women you <laughs> this, this moment between Hakeem and Jamal was just epic. Uh, they made amends with each other. Was the he was saying he was so happy for Jamal for coming out. Andre. I'm gonna need for you to get your shit together, brother. You in the studio? This man in the studio, mind you, this man was trying to do a Russian roulette. This man hails a gun up to his head, hoping that the bullet didn't blow his fucking brains out. I'm too down with Andre. Yeah, Miss Anika is done. She takes the ring off. She is she 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 she's through. She is through with um Lucius. Anika Calhoun to see Billy Beretti. Yeah, poor girl probably really. And then we get into a cookie, whatever. Cookie and Lucius, Lucius makes confronts Cookie. Pizza. Did you talk to Anika? And it good? Never happen again. I'm not leaving Anika for you. That is fine by me, <laughs> Lucius. Mm. Nothing good can come from loving you. Mm. 
Now see, this is where everything crumbles. Now I'm gonna focus on someone who really loves me. The lion roars. Mm. Splendid boy. <laughs> he came out to the world and nothing changed, Lucius. You're still you. He's, He's still, still Jamal. Jamal. The whole world knows. No one cares. The world is still spinning, Lucius. No one cares that he's gay. But I do. Now see, this is this, 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 see, this is where I this is this is where I want to slap the hell out of Lucius Lion. Because he is just so damn petty, he can't accept the fact that his son came out. And he calls off the album. I'm done. Guys, this episode was epic. And I just love... Uh, uh, I just love Lee Daniels and all the people ahead of the show. It gets better and better, guys. We have three more episodes left. And guys, I just want y'all to just... Tell me what y'all thought about yesterday's episode. And guys, I will talk to you guys later. This is Forever Brandon Deuces. I gotta get ready and go my black ass to work. I don't feel like going to work. And, um, hey, I love y'all. This is Forever Brandon.